All right, welcome back, everybody. My name is William, always here with Iman, and we're going to be talking about GameStop. Fuck yeah, dude. What is, what is My this? My favorite company in the world. <laughs> <laughs> or at least it was in 2008 or some shit like that, dude. Yeah, so, so why are we talking about GameStop, though? Exactly. Yeah, what does GameStop have to do with crypto? You yeah. know, this is generally a crypto channel, right? Well, that's what we're going to talk about, dude. Like, there's madness going on in Wall Street, I bet. I think they're all just, like, borderline about to neck themselves collectively. But, like, I think yeah. they've lost control of their market, dude. Like, a fucking internet subreddit has completely polluted their 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 investor space, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To them. To us, this is fucking awesome, right? This is, like, finally, like, retail's revenge against institutional control over the markets <laughs> which yeah. is hilarious so what we're looking at here is on uh, yahoo finance and we're looking at a uh, gamestop stock mm-hmm. stonks here and this is the performance wait no this is longer than five years yeah yes. it's like the whole history basically so let's look at five years so this is the five-year history of gamestop completely bare completely flat not even flat yeah like a nice downtrend right i mean it's been so, downtrending since 2013 yeah and it's kind of like the story that leads up to what's happening here i guess like sentiment uh, amongst institutions was pretty bearish and they've been loading up on what they call short options right, right. so they're they're betting against this stock you know the institutional investors are so this internet subreddit called wall street bets if you haven't heard of it it's just it's it's the place people go to to speculate speculate on stocks, you know, as, as a community. And they're just all day long, they're shit posting about how much money they're losing or gaining. What's the next play, yada, yada, yada. And this is this thread is this forum has been going on for years. But somehow over the years, I guess up until now, the community is kind of like bound together. You know, they're not so fractionated like they used to, you know, it's kind of like one one guy will make like a, a famous post and everyone will just hop on and you know, pump those bags. You know what I mean? So this is the latest example. I guess you could say Tesla was their first, like, uh, you know, moon mission, right? Oh, Without that's right. Wall Street bets, dude. Tesla would not do what it's doing. Elon yeah. Musk would not be the richest man in the world without Wall Street Vets. Like, that's for, sure. that's for sure. See, that's crazy. It's hard to believe that a website, I mean, we're looking at, is responsible for all this. I know. So so let's talk about, like, the implications of this price run-up. So the huge implications is that these hedge fund managers, these, uh, like, for example, Melvin Capital Management, uh, they're responsible for two point seven billion in hedge fund management. Mm-hmm. They're they're starting. Uh, they started the year with twelve and a half billion in assets and losing almost thirty percent through Friday. And among their short positions, Melvin bet against a surging stock of of uh, video game retailer GameStop. And so, when you buy a short, you're ex- you're 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 basically putting a bet that the price is going to go lower. Mm-hmm. And and so, what Wall Street Bets is doing, they're I guess collaborating with each other to make the price skyrocket, <coughs> therefore wrecking all of these huge institutions buying puts. Yeah, it got so bad, so right now they, they they're like pulling the emergency like liquidation button, right? They're asking, they're, get, they're getting injected from all angles to try and like maintain liquidity for their 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 options contracts, you know. And not only that, they're so continuously from from this price run up. They're continuously buying puts because they're expecting the price to go down. And then Wall Street bets are like, "Hey, let's let's continue liquidating these guys." Yeah, and the price keeps rising. It's kind of turned into like a not so much like meme stock activity. It's almost like a a call to action against Wall Street, like almost like letting letting the institutions know, like now look, look with the power of retail, yeah. you know. Like you guys have kept us out of the market for so long. And it's kind of true in the sense that Wall Street culture is kind of like put a wall surrounding themselves, you know, in the financial capital of New York City. Yeah. And then their business model is essentially like we've created these super complex financial tools and only we understand them. So you got to pay us in order to get access to these markets and then we'll do all the work for you. Right. But now through the, through the help of like applications like Robinhood, and there's a few others, but Robinhood prevalently, you know, a mobile phone application. Yeah. You now have access to these like semi-complex financial tools like options contracts, you know, and <laughs> I mean, it's debatable whether or not that's good or not for like, because it's what the, what the retail investors have done is pretty much use them like roulette tables, you know, they're just kind of like throwing darts out there. Yeah. It's definitely super gambling, but now... You know, it, it's turned into like a a tool for this community to 
kind of like pick and choose like which which institution they want to take down next you know right it's, pretty hilarious. it's intense <clears throat> yeah so this is the performance on just today so if you bought a a call at 115 dollars, just like jamath yeah, did it opened around like 80 bucks somewhere around there yeah, he, he bought a call at $115, and let's see what, what this... Yeah, he bought a call at $115 and surpassed it. So this was only three hours ago, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, this was definitely, I'm sure, a big catalyst for the run-up from this morning. I mean, it ran up even harder yesterday, but yeah, he came in after the fact, and he now he's just kind of like endorsing this, you know, with his own money. And I'm sure people see that, right? Like, oh, man, Chamath is in. <laughs> this is like all in, you know? This is a big pile up. Yeah. So it's like a battle to see who's going to win, you know, institutional money or this meme posting thread. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, we've so, yeah, seen well, we've, we've seen like crazy price hikes in crypto since the beginning. And yeah. so crypto has been it's been about allowing the, the retail investor to purchase assets. Right. And so now, like you're saying with Robinhood, enabling options trading on Robinhood gives this ability to retail investors to potentially wreck huge institutions just like crypto has been doing for the last 10 years now yeah. the last 10 years have not involved any institutions up until recently but we have some projects looking to add that same options trading functionality to retail investors and so the first yeah. one we're looking at is power trade yeah you're gonna imagine already like the markets in crypto are already like super <laughs> volatile and super I mean, it's just like whenever the retail FOMO kicks in, things get out of the control. Now, right. if we're adding in like new layers of new new tools to not only speculate, but all, in, in a lot of cases to add like fuel to the fire, like more, more like margin, more access to margin accounts, more of these like, you know, options, tools. And we've already been talking about, you know, future derivatives being built, you know, in DeFi. You know, it's just, it's it's going to be nonstop, dude. It's going to be Robin Hood times 100, I think, at some point. I don't know about the near future, but definitely at some point in the future. Oh, at some point, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, And just to go over real quick, what is options trading? And correct me if I'm wrong, I man, but basically there's calls and puts. Even though you may not be aware of it, we're all used to doing calls and puts. Like when you're watching a basketball game, you're going to call that this guy's going to make a three-pointer. And therefore, you know, James Harden shoots a three, makes it, you called it, right? Mm -hmm. So you can make those bets on on charts, on on prices. And these bets are tradable, right? So these options, you're, you would be buying an option to say Bitcoin's going to 40000 um, And then there's a, a particular date that you have to select in order to buy that call yeah and if it hits forty thousand before that date then you make a, a ton of money now how much do you make depends on the actual like purchase contract but um that that would be the best way to describe it right close enough dude <laughs> yeah <laughs> and this and the same thing goes with calls like you're calling that a price is gonna or no sorry not calls but puts puts is a uh, is an indication that you expect the price to go down and mm -hmm. so that's that's the opposite of a call. So yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at here. Um, so yeah, so we, because like their whole mission statement is is to become the Robinhood platform for crypto, and you can just kind of tell just by like their general aesthetics. Like it looks like I'm looking at a Robinhood product, you know? Yeah. Whether or not they can actually deliver on this on this uh, vision is yet to be seen. I mean, they have a really solid team behind them that has experience, I think, in building exchange protocols. So. Uh, Look at that Merrill Lynch background. Yeah, these guys are—they have years in the financial sector, and uh, yeah, they've built. I think I big time investors back. too. Yeah, big time investors. I think that's what attracted us initially, right? Yeah, they're investors. Yeah, and then we got synthetics. Back up. So yeah, this is definitely one to pay attention to, dude. Like the the industry knows, like let you know, options are. It's kind of like, and derivatives are like the next phase, you know, Yeah. of expanding DeFi in this uh, ecosystem. So, the, but this is more like the centralized approach, you know, power trade. Yeah. Yeah. And, and of course we have decentralized versions like Hedgic. Yeah. Yeah. There's also, so the way I value, I view power trade is like potentially like a Binance. Or Coinbase, the Coinbase yeah. equivalent to options trading. Yeah. Um, so whenever you're comparing like a decentralized and centralized model, 
I guess the speculation is like which one's going to have an easier time onboarding right. users, right. Right? right? Right. Usually, it's the centralized model, right? Yeah, just because. For I wonder why though. I mean, I mean, why? Why do you think that is? Is it, they got more like investment in terms of like? I think it's easier UI? to interact with the protocol for one. It's just easier. It's a little more difficult. To it's probably cheaper too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess people feel safe. You know, usually they're more regulated. They're more, you know, they got that nod of approval from governing bodies and whatnot. Yeah. Decentralized exchange is a little more wild west. You know what I mean? So, but I mean, that's what we want, right? We want we, we, decentralized exchanges are obviously here to stay and we're, we've already gotten used to them. Yeah. But if we're talking like consumer grade application, yeah, Power Trade probably has like the best opportunity there, right? Yeah, Power Trade. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want uh, the closest experience to uh, something like Robinhood, then Power Trade is the best bet. But if you have another option for decentralized options trading, which is DYDX, that's mm -hmm. what you're looking at here. And so through here, you can buy the same options, but in this case, they're between these pairs, ETH, DAI, ETH, USDC, and DAI, USDC. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and this one is interesting because there's high speculation that DYDX is going to be releasing a token. So, I know that there's a lot of people recommending everybody interacting with these protocols, buying an, either a margin or a spot trade just mm -hmm. to interact with it and potentially get that airdrop, but uh, that's, that's pure speculation. But, the founders have discussed potentially adding a token um, in the near future. So there's yeah. that. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, it's definitely good to get used to these or at least start interacting with these protocols to start to get an understanding of these instruments, you know, or how, how to trade options and whatnot. So to, uh, <laughs> to kind of summarize what we talked about today. So everything that's going on with GameStop is due to, Robinhood allowing retail investors access to options trading, right? Mm -hmm. And imagine this craziness that's happening with GameStop being applied to pretty much any other cryptocurrency in the space right now due to Power Trade, Hedgic, or DYDX, like enabling the retail investors to have access to options. So if you thought this was crazy, you know, looking at, you know, what's happening with these huge institutions getting liquidated, uh, you're going to see a lot more craziness in the, in the crypto space, right? That's the, the speculation, right, I man? Yeah, and I guess there's a lot less institutional resistance. Well, in, in, in the majority of the assets in the crypto space, like if you're trying, in Bitcoin's case, maybe in Ethereum as well, there's a lot more in institutional involvement, right? So it might be a little more difficult to see like runs like this. <laughs> yeah. Probably, probably never will. You know, it would completely ruin all moon math projections, you know, if we saw somehow like 4chan all colluded to like pump Bitcoin, you know. Yeah. It's not going to happen. But I mean, I guess you're already seeing like, dude, there's definitely like little micro groups within the crypto community that they do have enough power to pump smaller market cap coins, you know, things underneath a million dollars. Like we see it all the time. Well, all I'm ex expecting is that to be accelerated even more, you know, right. in the future, once these tools become more mature. <clears throat> yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, it's going to be wild, dude. <laughs> and also keep in mind, like there's debate right now amongst like, you know, the gray beards of, of, of financial world, whether or not what, what's going on with Wall Street bets is should be legal, you know. You can imagine them not liking what they're seeing and like knocking on the door of regulators, like, "Hey, these kids are like ruining our our fucking game." Dude. Like, we gotta do something about this. <laughs> so you gotta speculate if somehow they can manage to make that case to the SEC or whatever. I wonder how they could prevent this. Just not allow options trading for retails for retail investors. I mean, come on. Yeah, exactly. You can. You. I don't think you can. Yeah, I don't think you can, dude. If everyone collectively decides to buy Bitcoin, Bitcoin will get to a million dollars within the week. Yeah. But. Yeah, this is just the market doing what it does. But yeah, it's just now a, a new sector of the market has <clears throat> access to tools that they didn't before. So now now they've evened the playing field a little bit more. 
you know yeah um, from institutions to retail like <clears throat> which is good this is good overall <laughs> you know what i mean this is what we want to see yeah I, i'm i'm liking this this is this is quite entertaining to see you know these huge institutions kind of struggling at their own game yeah and then you got like a an internet forum like the, the community members are all getting like ridiculously wealthy together yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> as long as they all keep doing the you know the same thing right. so who knows how long this will go for look at that blockbuster it looks like they're already targeting like their next target <laughs> target acquired <laughs> <laughs> so who, let's keep an eye on blockbuster see what happens to that so and then you got Nokia, right? Dude, this is hilarious. So they're like intentionally targeting like dead companies almost. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> and that's what's so great about this, dude. It's like GameStop from a fundamental level is it's probably a dying business model. Like, let's be real. You know, brick and mortar retail for video games. Like, that's definitely not what's in or what's going to be in. You know, that was in 10 years ago. Yeah. Everybody downloads their games nowadays, so unless they have some kind of business plan to shift into that realm and, you know, yeah, take market right. share. But that's not what this is about. Like these people buying GameStop today, they're not speculating on like the potential the, future of GameStop. GameStop. Yeah. Like they're going to revolutionize the gaming industry. Nah, that's not what this is about. This is about picking <laughs> like dinosaur stocks and really putting the pain to all these institutions, like shorting them, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking wild. So, yeah, we'll see, man. But, yeah, the speculation is what happens if Wall Street Bets gets removed from the Internet? What, what, what happens then? Dude, I think they'll just form in a different location. Go to 4chan. That's where they're going. They're going. That's going to be a tough one, dude. That's two and a half million people. Like, I'm sure they will slowly rebuild, but, yeah, I don't know. All Hopefully right. they doesn't crash the whole market, <laughs> you know, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, you just said that they uh, they triggered a few uh, circuit breakers because of this, yeah. this price run. Yeah, I mean, circuit breakers, they go both directions, dude. So if it goes up too fast, they get triggered. If it goes down too fast, they also get triggered. So that's Dang. the power of Wall Street bets right now. All right, well, that covers everything we want to talk about. Um, hopefully you learned a little something today with options trading, but uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter at the block runner and also at Metazone IO. And yeah, let us know what you think about these different options that we have in the crypto space for options trading. Are you for the centralized? Are you for decentralized? Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments and we will see you tomorrow. All right, we're out. Peace.